It is always interesting when declassified information from the past comes to light revealing secrets and mysteries that were hidden for decades. But this time, the declassified material is not some secret technology or weapon but something more fascinating and surprising, ancient Roman forts in the Middle East. These forts are not just ordinary structures but massive and complex fortifications that show the extent and diversity of the Roman Empire and its interactions with other civilizations. Using high-resolution images from two CIA spy satellite programs Corona and HEXAGON, a team of researchers from Durham University in England have discovered dozens of new forts that were previously unknown or poorly documented. They have also found that some of the existing forts were much larger and more elaborate than previously thought. The Roman Empire was one of the largest and most influential empires in history, spanning over three continents and lasting for more than a thousand years. But how much do we really know about its borders and boundaries, especially in the remote and contested regions of the Fertile Crescent? The Fertile Crescent is a crescent-shaped region of land that stretches from the Nile Valley in Egypt to the Persian Gulf in Iraq. It is considered to be the cradle of civilization where some of the earliest human cultures emerged and developed. It is also a region of great strategic importance as it connects Asia, Africa and Europe and offers access to vital resources such as water, fertile soil and trade routes. The Roman Empire expanded its territory into the Fertile Crescent in the 1st century BC after defeating the Parthian Empire which ruled over most of modern-day Iran and Iraq. The Romans established a province called Mesopotamia which covered parts of Syria, Turkey, Iraq and Iran. However, the Romans faced constant challenges from their eastern rivals such as the Parthians, the Sasanians and later the Arabs who contested their control over the region. To secure their presence and interests in the Fertile Crescent, the Romans built a network of forts and fortifications along the edges of the desert. These forts served various purposes such as protecting trade caravans, facilitating communication, intercultural exchange and providing military bases and defense against enemy attacks. But how do we know where these forts were located and what they looked like? Until recently, our knowledge of these forts was based on limited archaeological evidence and historical sources. However, thanks to a remarkable discovery by a team of researchers from Durham University in England, we now have access to a new source of information, declassified spy satellite imagery from the CIA. The CIA launched several spy satellite programs during the Cold War era to monitor the activities of its adversaries such as the Soviet Union and China. These satellites took high-resolution images of various regions of the world including the Middle East. However, these images were not made public until decades later when they were declassified by the US government. The researchers from Durham University analyzed thousands of these images from two CIA spy satellite programs. Corona which was operated from 1960 to 1972 and Hexagon which was operated from 1971 to 1986. They compared them with modern satellite imagery from Google Earth to identify and locate ancient Roman forts in the Fertile Crescent. What they found was astonishing. They discovered dozens of new forts that were previously unknown or poorly documented. They also found that some of the existing forts were much larger and more complex than previously thought. They estimated that some of these forts had sides as long as 200 meters or 656 feet, which is equivalent to two football fields. They also noticed that many of these forts had outlying features such as walls, towers, citadels or fortified buildings. The researchers also found that these forts did not form a straight line along the north-south axis as previously assumed by some scholars. Instead, they followed a roughly east-west line along the margins of the desert. This suggests that these forts were not meant to be a defensive barrier against eastern threats but rather to facilitate trade and movement across the region. The researchers also dated these forts to between the 2nd and 6th century AD, a period that witnessed major political and cultural changes in the Roman Empire and its neighbours. During this time, the Roman Empire split into two parts, the Western Roman Empire and the Eastern Roman Empire, also known as Byzantium. The Western Roman Empire collapsed in the 5th century AD due to internal strife and external invasions by Germanic tribes. The Eastern Roman Empire survived until 1453 AD but faced constant pressure from its eastern rivals, first from the Sasanian Empire which replaced the Parthian Empire as the dominant power in Iran and Iraq, then from the Arab Caliphate which emerged from Arabia and conquered most of the Middle East and North Africa. These historical events had a significant impact on the fate of these forts. 
the researchers found that many of them were abandoned by the 6th century AD possibly due to warfare or environmental changes. However, some of them continued to be occupied until later periods by different groups of people such as Byzantines, Arabs, Crusaders, Mongols, Ottomans or Kurds. The discovery of these forts is a remarkable achievement that enriches our understanding of the Roman Empire and its legacy in the Middle East. It also demonstrates the potential of using satellite imagery for archaeological research especially in regions that are difficult to access or survey due to modern conflicts or political instability. As more declassified and historical imagery becomes available, we can expect to find more hidden treasures and secrets from the past that will reveal new insights into the history and culture of humanity. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. See you next time.